And Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia has for the first time visited the Likoni Ferry Crossing Channel where a mother and daughter lost their lives after their car slid off the MV Harambe, plunging into the deep waters. All search and recovery operations have been hampered by heavy rains pounding the area with little progress made so far. Sam Gituku is at the Likoni Channel and now joins us live. Sam, what can you tell us about the operation so far? Well, good afternoon, uh, Victoria. So far, the operation has been a bit slow, but what you understand is that uh, there are a few divers that are already uh, into the water. As you recall that yesterday, after that attempt by a uh, Swedish national who was here to uh, help in the operation, give a report indicating that um, at the point that they were able to go down, they didn't find anything that would signal that that would be the car. But he said that uh, there is another spot that they were positive that could be where uh, the car lies, and that is is where the ferries have been passing through. So uh, the ferry traffic remains, but what you know is that uh, there are certain divers that are, are trying to make their way into that particular location to be in a position to establish what really lies down there. But also information has been uh, slowly slow to come, especially from the authorities and those people that are uh, managing this operation. Uh, but uh, this morning, the cabinet secretary in charge of transport affairs, that is uh, James Masharia, made his way to Mombasa. Uh, he has been holed up in meetings with officials from the Kenya Ferry Services as well as uh, getting to meet the family just to condole with them and get um, uh, their insights in as regards the operation and how it has been going on. We are still expecting him to come forth and give a statement because the last time we had an official from the Ministry of Transport was from the Principal Secretary in that the department or that ministry, and that is Esther Koymet, and what she said was just uh, to talk about an update of the 14 positions or 14 uh, uh, posts that had been established or identified to be a suspect of where that car might be still be being holed up, uh, but uh, we haven't had any word from the ministry, so we'll be hearing from him as far as this is concerned, because also all through what we've been hearing are from uh, words from those uh, commanding the operation, talking of um, uh, Colonel Lawrence Gituma as well as um, retired Colonel um, Sarah Soguna, who is the government spokesperson, uh, we're also hearing from that gentleman, a uh, Swedish national, yesterday, uh, giving the negative news in as far as uh, what they had been able to find. So we'll be hearing from him to just establish uh, what what uh, progress has been made so far, and also the measures that they are going to take, bearing in mind that there are still concerns in as far as the safety of the ferry transport from this Likoni side to the other. Uh, there has been those concerns concerns about people not really um, acting in, in accordance with the rules and regulations that they are supposed to be observing. Uh, so that is what we are waiting for, Victoria. As soon as uh, the CS comes, then we'll be sure to get it from him.